Hello everybody, this is Mad Marshman and welcome to another episode of the Night Garden. And no, you are not watching the wrong channel. We have changed the texture pack. This is episode 50. This is not a episode 50 special, but this is going to be a landmark episode because as I mentioned in the last episode, I'm probably going to change my style of LPing slightly, at least for a little while. We have made everything we need in our world. We have blaze farms and iron farms and we have perfect villages, so <coughs> excuse me. We have virtually no need for anything really. We have everything we could possibly ever wish for. So we need food, I know that much. We don't need the flint and steel, we do need the ender pearls. Yeah, this is a change of style. We're going to be building purely for aesthetics, purely for looks. We've already got all the machines and everything we need. I mean, look at this. This is this is lovely. We're still in survival. We're still on hard difficulty. Nothing there is going to change. We're not going to go into creative or anything silly. But we don't have to work very hard for our resources nowadays. I haven't uploaded for a... Well, I haven't recorded for a while. About two weeks it took me to find this location. Which is a long, long while. But like I said, we're building for aesthetics. And I never have done things half-heartedly. I wanted what I considered to be the perfect location. Look at this sunset. Gorgeous. Yeah, I've found places that were epic with lava falls and waterfalls and floating islands and all that. But I didn't really want that. I wanted something that looked a bit more realistic and had this this lovely backdrop we got in nearly every direction. I really should have cleared my throat before I started. <coughs> oh, excuse me again. So yeah, we're going to clear a few trees here and walk and talk. I don't normally do too much of this sort of thing on camera. And half of you are probably gone already because of the texture pack. Probably saw that and ended the video straight away. But for those who are sticking around, thanks for watching. Now, if I do any of my old style videos where I build machines or mob traps or things that uh, require maybe a bit of technical nonce and people may wish to copy and use as a tutorial I will switch back to faithful or default if I create any tutorials I will be doing them in faithful or default but while we're doing this aesthetic type building I'm gonna play about with texture packs and the build I want to do is particularly rustic and we are using the Conquest texture pack because I think it is very rustic. It's even more rustic than John Smith's. If you put John Smith's alongside this, it actually makes John Smith's look quite bright and cheerful. I have got John Smith's installed and could show you, but I can't be bothered. Now I need to clear most of these trees on this piece of land over here. And I've got to remember that I'm not in the safety of any of my other totally safe areas I have in my world, so I'm going to have to sleep soon. And normally I wouldn't get you to watch any of this, but you can watch me for a little while as we're having a little chat. Now what I'm actually going to build, I want to build on this platform here. So when I come out of my door in the morning, when I get out of bed, I can see this wonderful view. This is purely why I've built here for this backdrop and a few small flattish areas. That's why I didn't use the complete epic landscape because you don't get anywhere flat to build at all. We've got planes over here so we can build. And I'm also going to show you in here, not that way, this way. I've done a little bit off camera but only because infrastructure that I didn't really want to show because you don't need to see it because you've seen me do it before. But I'll show you it's here. 
and we have the chicken cooker. And I literally built it and switched the computer off, so there's still mainly chicks up in there growing up. That's the old hopper, dispenser, chest thing with the redstone going into the hopper. I may do a tutorial on it, I've built it so many times I don't bother showing it anymore. But yeah, that's just so we've got food and I built it down here so it's more than 16 blocks away from the plier. So whenever we're building on the surface we don't have to listen to it. And I built it here, not directly under there because I'm probably going to build over on these planes as well. Once we've finished up there. Now I haven't mentioned yet what we're building up there, I don't think we have. What we are building is a hobbit hole. We are building a hobbit e hobbit hole. We won't be the first people to build a hobbit hole and we won't be the last, but that doesn't matter. Now, I decided that I was going to build this and decided how I was going to build this and then I looked at young James Omen's YouTube channel, a friend of mine, and he's built a hobbit hole and I thought, oh that's not very good. Not his hobbit hole wasn't very good, his hobbit hole is very good. But I thought it's not very good that I'm building one as well because it looks like I'm copying him, but after watching James's video it it turns out that his hobbit hole is nothing like the one I'm building, which is good that they're a complete contrast to each other. James appears to have built his as if the plier is the hobbit and by I mean, by that I mean the pl the hobbit hole his built seems quite spacious and it would do if you were the hobbit walking around in there because it would be built to suit that size of person it seems like a sensible sized building for a hobbit sized person whereas the way I'm building this hobbit house or hobbit hole is as if the player is a human, like when Gandalf went to visit Frodo Baggins, or Bilbo Baggins in the newer film, or the books, whichever you want to refer to, where he's all cramped and having to bend over and his head's nearly hitting the ceiling, and when he sits down in a chair his feet are nearly poking out of the door. So they're two completely different builds, and um, I've never built Aesthetic before, I've always just Done right. This is where we trap the mobs. This is where we farm the mobs. This is where we kill the mobs. And this is where we pick up their stuff. Everything I've built has always been functional. I can hear. Thought I can hear a skeleton then. And it's always been. I've always started an episode with the, this is what we're going to build today. And by the end of the episode, we've built it and we're demonstrating using it. Now it's not going to be like that anymore, or not, it won't be all the time, but it won't be for this build because I know this build is going to take quite a long time, probably three or four episodes. I'll be very surprised if we squeeze it into two, especially since we're having a bit of a talky one this time, but I felt I should since this is such a change from how I normally work. But what I'm hoping is that those of you who have followed me, at least follow me for the next three or four episodes and give this a chance, because I've really been looking forward to do this for quite a while, that's why I've spent two weeks looking for a location and getting ready, built my nether tunnel back to my original base as I always do, so I can travel easily to and from my iron farm etc. and the swamp with the villagers with the perfect trades that's the whole point of it all we don't need to go mining for diamonds we just trade for all diamond tools and armor we need or anything we need we have our chicken cooker right so i need quite a large area like i said with a fortnight to work this out i've actually took squared paper to work with me and sat in my tea breaks drawing this out with pen and paper that is the joy of Minecraft. You can draw in squares, so you get yourself a like the old school maths textbook and some felt tip pens. And um, you can work away from your computer. Not very modern, I know. Some of you probably have iPads and more portable devices, but I have 15-minute tea breaks at work, so 
by the time I boot it up and got things running that would be just as easy to draw it out. So I know from my pen and paper that I need an area nearly 30 blocks square which is quite large really but doesn't actually look that big when it's finished. So this will do for the first part of our chat and I think I will prepare the ground a bit more and then come back to you. So we have quite a large area flattened off now. Don't worry the build will not be flat when it's finished, that will be terraformed afterwards but I felt that this would be easier to build it on a flat level and then terraform afterwards. But as I said this was purely aesthetic build and I'm pretty new to this, I mean don't get me wrong I always had pretty strong artistic leanings when I was younger, I often th even thought about becoming a commercial artist when I left school but that never happened because my love for computers grew. Anyway we need a colour palette so this is spruce in all its glory so that's quite dark, I'm looking for quite a dark quite a dark timber to start with we really should have brought a chest with us now this is the new dark oak and this is really dark so that's nearly black in this texture pack I'm not quite so sure if I want anything quite that black but if we put that next to our good old birch because we want to put contrast and colours together if I know anything what little I do know so this would maybe be posts or pillars or this could be that could be a floor or we could use stone for a floor so stone would go there maybe don't know we'll put that we'll leave that there what other woods we got we got all the woods cuz i am not familiar with this texture pack either this is this is a novelty for me too so we got to do this we got to get everything out of our inventory. It all looks alright in the inventory, small, but we want to get it out here in the broad daylight where we can see it. And that leaves one, which is our acacia, which I don't think we're going to be using. But I don't know, I quite like... It's a little bit bright for this, but we may... could make quite a nice decorative block. So we don't have many decorative blocks for building in Minecraft, apart from... Um, what's I going to say? the... I'm going to spit it out in a minute come on brain, work, bookcases if you want to build a decorative wall you're nearly limited to bookcases that is meant to be... is that meant to be red clay? that is red clay, I'm convinced of it don't know if I like that, may even have to go and dye some right, I know I brought loads of string from the spider spawner <laughs> case when you red wool. I was convinced this texture pack was going to do something strange to me. String. We have tons of string from our spider spawn and that's a furnace. Right, that is wool. We'll have all of them. If we don't use them here we'll use them somewhere else. Now we've destroyed loads of flowers. Yeah, poppies. I know I destroyed loads of flowers while I was doing all that ground clearance wool, oh yeah even I know that and we've got no shortage of red dye because obviously the iron golem farm delivers massive quantities of poppies right let's get back to our colour palette and see if this tricks us in the same way that the red clay did no that looks like it's behaved itself completely and of course we have glass which is completely different to what I'm used to I'm used to having my nice clear glass and then we have mossy stone, cobblestone stone brick, I've got some cracked stone brick as well, this is all obviously from my fortress the mossy is very mossy 
Right, so other than doors and decorative blocks, I think that is what we're working with. Now, do I want... I think the dark oak is too black for my liking. That wouldn't be there, though, would it? That would be... Get your spoon out. Oh yeah, when I was clearing it out, loads of mob noises down there, so at some point we're going to have to go and sort some mobs out, I'm sure. Otherwise we're going to keep moaning and groaning all the time while we're working. Right. So that... Hmm. I think we've got our colour palette right there. I think we have. Well, we'll leave that there for now. And we're going to put away everything apart from, I think that's oak. I'm pretty sure it is. That would be spruce. Right, that didn't really help me, did it? Because I weren't paying attention. Spruce. I'm sure it is spruce. That's the one we started with. That is spruce. That's jungle. That's birch. That is dark oak. Did we not have any regular oak? Oak. Didn't think we tried it, did we? We better try the regular oak. Oak planks. Oak stairs. Right. No, I think that's too light. I think we're going to go for spruce, possibly a birch floor, and then the other trimmings. So after that, we talked about that for so long, we're nearly at the point of going to sleep. So I'm going to empty all this, have a sleep, and then come back to you. So here I am in my new shiny chain and diamond armour. No need to see that at all. I thought I'd show you. So we got our spruce wood and we are going to start here I think as far as I'm concerned. So one, two, three, plop. One, two, three, plop. Now this is our first room. I think we're going to come out of here. This will be the front door. Have a garden etc. Blah blah blah. So like I said, I've got a rough idea what's going on here. Also, I've got more than a rough idea because I've had two weeks. The reason I had two weeks to plan this out is because I haven't been able to play. Those of you who follow my channel will know that I do shift work and I have two weeks. I have a week when I can't play and a week when I can. So the week when I could play, I spent looking for the new location. And the week when I couldn't play, I obviously couldn't play. And I just spent drawing this up and daydreaming about how I was going to do it. So hopefully this won't all go horribly wrong. So this is a hobbity house and these rooms are incredibly cramped. And we've gone wrong already because... I'm talking and playing, but there you go, that's LP in for you. Yeah, these rooms are incredibly cramped, because they're for very small people. So they wouldn't be cramped if you're a very small person, but they will be cramped for us. Because we, the player, are playing the role of a human, or we are in my head. One, two, three, there. So first things first, we get the framework up. That's another thing I had to do in my Fortnite, I had lots of time to watch other YouTubers, mainly builders. I always used to watch the Redstoners and the guys like Doc M and Etho who play more the technical game, but I've been watching the builders, not surprisingly, for the last couple of weeks to see how they play and what they do. Right, so we've got that there. we got a another couple there. And a room on the end. This thing down here is because I want an extra thick wall 
separating the rooms down there will become a will become apparent in a little while I will explain but I would like to get this at least laid out to start with so what how many rooms have we got two so I'd like another row of rooms in here that again this is another thick wall that's going to run through for reasons that will become more clear during the rest of the build right so this is more or less it I've cleared way more land than I needed which is a bit of a pain for the terraforming but never mind now we're just going to have gaps of two here um, no I think I've or shall we I don't know now, I've confused myself. Let's go for gaps of three. I was undecided when I drew this because this bit's going to be stick out quite a bit longer. Well, I don't know if that's going to make a hobbit hill look less hobbity. And I can say to you that hobbity is a real world. A real word. I worked for a natural fencing company for a little while and we used to make rustic fences and rustic gates and we often used to use the word hobbity to describe how rustic something was. Is this hobbity enough or not? Right, I'm running around here looking at my plan because we have a row of rooms there. We have another row of rooms here. We have a third row of rooms and we do not need this. No wonder it looked long. The build stops here. So this should be... I could have pushed it nearer this edge but I want a bit of a garden at the front here. Not much of one but a little bit of one. Possibly. And even maybe a path. I may be asking for a bit much for a path. Anyway. There is the logs. Well, not there is the logs, there is the floor plan for our building. So, this I'm now going to show you. We're going to have this. We're going to go and get some of our stairs. We're going to need a huge amount of oak, no, spruce wood stairs. So, we'll get all the spruce planks we've got think that will do and maybe we're going to get some of the birch yeah we'll definitely get some birch we'll blitz that into planks and blitz that into stairs planks stairs right so now the hull design of this hobbit house is based upon this. The lovely round entrances they have. So that is an entrance or a separator or whatever you want to call it. I see I'm going to have trouble here with these. Place properly please. Like so. And like a so. Up the right way. Like so. So this is a room, believe it or not, for our tiny little hobbity friends. Let's clear that a bit. Gone a bit berserk. Our shovel's a bit hardcore. I sometimes do tone down to an iron shovel just because these efficiency diamond spoons are a little bit crazy. They're just a job when you want to clear a massive amount of space, but for normal work they're a little bit excessive sometimes so let's see if we can get get somewhere going on right so that 
this is the front door. So we need to sleep. Actually, we need our red wool, so we might as well go to sleep while we're here. I can hear a zombie underneath us already. In case you're wondering what's down this ladder, it's my portal. And it's not lit, so I didn't want to listen to it. I put it out with a bucket of lava. Look at that. Glorious sunrise. That is lovely, isn't it? Right. So what we actually need here... No, we don't need that much, really. This would do. Three of these would do. We need... Can we do it sideways on? Will it let us? It will. Not like that, though. This is how I think I... How I may have had it. Right. So this as well will be some form of external block, which I had my heart set on, and it may look terrible and we may change it. I was thinking stone brick, seeing that's one of my favourites, and I know from previous experience that stone brick looks very nice with red wool and most wood, and the fact that we have some cracked and some mossy to mix it up with which will look nice I think when it's buried in the ground so this bit is still a bit experimental because I've not drawn this up as such so we could possibly put an upside down and a right way up and an upside down and a right way up and that would mean we'd really want a put something like that in there we're getting to the finer details now, I didn't really want to get this fine with it on episode one I was thinking more of just laying out the logs and showing you that but this is typically how I used to do my LP and I'm carrying on like it now aren't I I want you to see everything at once Right, so while we're up here, should we go for the hull hog? Shall we? No, we're not going to. We're not going to do the ceiling yet. So there's there's a hobbity round door. That looks poo. To me, it does anyway. I want that there. That there. We're not going to use torches to light this up, but we will for while we're building it. We don't really want mobs up here while we're building. Right, so let's have another look at the front. There we go. So there's the nice round hobbity door. They have the whole door hinged around, but we can't do that in Minecraft, so we try and give an illusion of that. We might have some steps down here to the water. Could be a little fishing platform. I haven't even thought about that. So there's the entrance. Here is an this will look even more cramped when it's got a roof on it, but I said that's what I want. This is like the human coming in. It'll be very tricky to make it practical for survival, but that's partly why we've got so many rooms. And we may have to take this spire here down or even lower. I thought about putting so I thought about putting the chicken cooker in it. Because that'd be out of sound range over there and be useful and be hid up, but I want to be able to see this mountain and this waterfall. So the last thing I want to do is see if my chicken is chicken cooker has been loaded and operational while we've been working. Now I know that's not really part of the new let's build for the sake of building, but I also am a survival player and I've just had my last piece of chicken. We have eight chicken and eight feathers. So that has only been working for the length of this episode. 
and apart from me clearing the dirt, which didn't take that long, you've been with me the whole way. So our colour palette can come down, I think, because we've more or less made our mind up. Everything else is trimming. So here we have our door, our hobbity door. Uh, all that guff behind with the chest and the portal, that'll go. I just built that so I didn't want to touch the landscape. So thanks for watching. Stick with me to the end of this series. Probably only be two or three episodes to finish this hobbit hole. So see you next time. Bye bye.